everyone, uh, this is Peter Burns, and this is a video about how to take a presentation and turn it into a video uh, using uh, PowerPoint. I'll be using Windows PowerPoint 16, which is the current version, in, in April 2020. Uh, I'm doing this on behalf of ISNT uh, for co the conferences that they run. Um, but it should be generally applicable for anyone who needs to present their material remotely um, or alternatively to record it for posting uh, later. So uh, let's get started. As far as the content goes, I would write your presentation as if you were going to deliver it in person. So here we go. Let's set up the narration. First, I suggest you go to the first or title page, meaning navigate it so that's visible. You don't have to, but that's uh, I found that helpful. Two, select the slideshow tab at the top of the um, of the window for PowerPoint. Then select the record slideshow a panel uh, once you have that selected. So selecting the slideshow tab here. Once that's done, you will then show this panel. You can then select, and what you'll see is you can. Um, uh, record from the first or the current slide. Generally, I uh, do it from the first slide the first time through. Um, subsequently, you can edit uh, the narration for each slide independently if you have some that are, uh, need improving. Well, once you initiate the recording um, by your previous panel selection, here's what you see if you have two uh, computer displays here. So I've got two displays. And um, the one on the left is monitoring where I have the control, and the one on the right is, of course, my ordinary presentation. So uh, what we'll do first is we'll check whether we're going to do an audio-only um, uh, narration or we're going to do full video. I am doing full video in this in this case because you can see me, and uh, so we can control which version we do by these icons there, you'll see. Uh, so the audio only has the uh, microphone active and the video camera icon not active. And you control that by selecting. If you select the video camera, you get a preview as you can see there. Well, when you're ready, um, you hit the record button up there, that red one, and there's a short countdown. You then start talking. And when you're finished with the slide, you use these navigation uh, buttons on the right and the left. The one on the right is, of course, forward. So it's a little button there with a triangle. Um, so you hit that and then uh, and then proceed. Here we go. Um, after you have finished your narration on the last page or slide, uh, you uh, simply hit stop there. And um, then you hit escape to get out of essentially presentation or recording mode. And that gets you back to the ordinary uh, editing uh, mode in PowerPoint, the way we normally see things. Well, let's save all our good work. And um, how do we do that? Well, here are my suggestions. First, save the presentation as you normally would in whatever format is available to you, PPT, PPTX, so forth. So that's simply file and save. That's the first step. That will, of course, have your presentation and your narration uh, with it too. Well, now let's save as a video. There are two ways to do that. You can simply do a save as from the file menu and then look for a video format. MP4, if it's available, Possibly uh, Windows Media Video format um, will be available to you. So either of those, fine. The uh, Windows Media Video will probably need converting uh, later um, before posting. MP4 is preferable there. But you can also go to the, the same menu, which, uh, which is a file menu, and then go to Export. So you go to File, Export, create a video and then choose the um, the, the um, type of encoding. Um, if you do a full HD video, that's going to be a very large file. Uh, medium HD is probably OK, but you may want to experiment with that. Conversion will take some time. 
I'm assuming your presentation will be longer than this one that I'm doing, uh, and you have to watch for the status bar at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. <laughs> Editing. Even good stuff can be improved, of course. First, test your video by running the saved video file. That would be double clicking on the file icon and make sure it runs. Um, next, you can go uh, open the PowerPoint um, presentation file as you normally would edit it. Like you can, for example, move the narrator's video box. The default position for me is on the lower right and I think probably on the upper right is better. You can then export to video again or save as video again, um, but I suggest using a different name. So you can certainly edit that and, and export again. Another thing you can do is to use that, um, that's that uh, narration video um, panel and simply re-narrate um, a particular uh, slide if there's, a, if there's a part of that that you're not happy with. So that's all available. And again, after you've done that, you simply export again. Well, this is the end, and I hope you found this useful. When this gets posted, there'll be some other information uh, uh, also there.